Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com and today's video is all about tech and my hall of tech and hall of awesomeness because you guys make this possible of which I am incredibly grateful for. So thank you for everything in advance. So starting out this edition of David's Tech Hall, let's start out with this little guy. This is the Uovo, I think that's how you say it, Uovo Rechargeable Mood Lights. Now, if you watch my weekend vlogs, then you've already seen this multiple times because I love taking this thing camping with me and you know my family because it puts off a good mood during your camping trips or just even in your bedroom or your office or wherever because it lights up. Who doesn't like LED lights? I mean, well, I should rephrase that. What kind of geek doesn't like lights? I mean, I love my lights, especially LEDs. And this light changes colors based on touch input. So if I slide my finger over blue, look at that, it changes to blue. Now if I slide it over red, it changes to red. That's more orange. Let's get it to red, right between purple and... There we go. That's more red, depending on the white balance of this video. And that's really cool. I mean, lights and a touch-enabled interface, what could you not like about this? But even better, if you hold down your finger on the play button, it'll actually begin the cycle through the entire spectrum. So we have a nice cyan blue going on right now. Transferring over to purple, it should be. Yep, purple and pink. And then it should be red. I'm not gonna go through the whole spectrum. You guys already know your colors. But still, as you can see, this thing is really, really awesome. But of course, this is only made possible because of Scott P. Anderson. So Scott, thank you so much for this. Oh, and by the way, it is rechargeable, as I said in the original description of this uh, product. Meaning, yes, you just plug it in, you charge it, and there's no need to worry about batteries. And that alone, in my opinion, is a huge selling point. So overall, I'm very impressed with this. Now, question to you guys. Should I do a dedicated video just about this light? Let me know in the comments right below. All right, the next item comes from, I'm knocking things down. I'm knocking more things down. Comes from Wendy Favaro. I hope I said that right, Wendy. Now, Wendy was nice enough to send me this. And honestly, it's not even a gift for me. And it's a gift from Maui, which I think is even better because Maui loves his cat toys. There you go. This is called the Cat It Toy. Like Cat It, C-A-T space I-T. And there's actually a ball included. As you can see, it's rolling back and forth. Now, what's really cool about this is you're not limited to just this traditional S design. You can mix and match the pieces to whatever kind of creation you want. It's just limited on the number of pieces that you have and your creative mind. So I think it's really cool. Now, I'm not sure Maui's age. This is typically for kittens, I think, judging from the cats shown on the box. Now, again, as I've said in past videos, I'm not sure how old Maui is, but I'm assuming he's maybe five or six. But the point is, he's not a kitten, but he still loves this toy. So that says a lot. So Wendy, thank you so much for this. I greatly appreciate it. And Maui appreciates it as well. He would thank you, but he's sleeping in his box right now. Next up, let's briefly talk about the Skull Candy Crusher headphones. I say briefly because I already did an um, unboxing video on these while I was camping with my family, actually. But I will say real quick, Lindsay, again, Lindsay, thank you so much for these. These headphones are awesome. The bass is insanely impressive. And actually, with that said, the bass is a little too intense which I know is just crazy. You can never have too much bass, right? Well, when these things are rattling your head and your ears kind of tickle, yeah, you're gonna have to turn the bass down a little bit as seen here with the bass intensity slider. That's not the official name, I just kind of made that up, but that's kind of what it does. You can increase and decrease the intensity of the bass. And overall, I'm very impressed with these. And if you're wondering what they look like on my head, there you go, you got this nice lime green finish. Well, kind of an accent, but a gray finish overall. And very, very cool headphones. And I'm gonna try my best to do a review on these in the very near future. So Lindsay, again, thank you so much. Oh, and real quick, they are included with this um, Skull Candy branded carrying case, which is very soft. Ooh. Okay, 
awkward moments aside. The next item is... God, I'm gonna have to say this the best I can. Theatre Rhythm? The Theatre Rhythm? Final Fantasy Curtain Call? It's like a mix of theater and rhythm. Theater Rhythm. Oh. Theater Rhythm. Okay, there we go. Theater Rhythm, Final Fantasy Curtain Call, made possible by Jessica Kelly. And Jessica includes a note saying, not sure if you like Final Fantasy music or rhythm games, but this is a good game to play in short spurts from Jessica Kelly. Jessica, trust me when I say this. I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy music. I always have been. And actually, I have a dedicated Pandora station to Final Fantasy VIII and any music relating to Final Fantasy VIII. So yes, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Final Fantasy music. Now, the only downside is, and please don't take this personally, I've not opened this yet. That's only because I've been so busy with BrandRocket.com and I've been away camping with the family and then working here when I have free time. Um, I play my PS4 or Xbox One uh, lately because I've been playing Chariot. Chariot, that's how you say it. It's actually free for gold users if you're into that. But I promise very, very soon I will be playing this, especially now that I actually have a good pair of headphones with awesome bass. So yeah, I mean, combine Final Fantasy with some awesome bass and headphones in general, but come on, I'm pretty much sold on the bass, then that pretty much means I'm going to have an awesome experience. And I'm really, really excited about uh, listening to this and playing it. Because I will say I am a huge fan of rhythm games and I've always really enjoyed Guitar Hero. I never really got into Rock Band in terms of owning it myself, but I played Rock Band with friends and always had a great time. I played Amplitude. What's another game? What's that game for the Wii? It's like Donkey Kong something. You got these like, oh, Donkey Kong Conga Trouble? I forget. You got like these congas. I mean, it was pretty cool. It wasn't as fun as Guitar Hero, but it was pretty cool. Anyway, Jessica, thank you again so much. I promise you I will update you on this game in hopefully the next weekend vlog. It just depends on my schedule and how much free time I have. Okay, so moving on, I'm talking a lot. This item is a UV light. Now, I'm not sure where this came from. Well, it came from Amazon, but I should say more specifically, I'm not sure who this came from. It was on my wish list over at davidswishes.com. So someone was nice enough to buy it for me. So thank you very much for that. So you may be wondering, David, why do you have a UV light? And well, my answer is, why not? I mean, I love lights and I love the idea of a light showing me things that the human eye normally wouldn't pick up on, including a few things. I'm not gonna go into detail to gross anyone out, but listen to me when I say this. Using a UV light will permanently scar you and your personal living space or your workspace because you will see things that you will never be able to unsee again. I mean, your room may look clean, but as soon as you turn this thing on, yeah, you're gonna see dust. You're gonna see marks and stains and basically stuff you wish you would have never seen beforehand. Seriously though, this light is awesome. I'm really enjoying it. And tip, do not shine it in your eyes because you will damage your retina. Just don't do it. I mean, this light is not a toy. This is a very serious light and you should use it with caution. So that is just my friendly advice to anyone else interested in getting themselves a UV light. Because I'm not gonna lie, this thing is pretty freaking awesome. So. And now finally wrapping up this edition of David's Tech Call. Oh wait, first of all, shout out to Wendy. I forgot Wendy included a notes with the uh, cat toy. Wendy says, thank you for all you do from Wendy Favaro. So Wendy, thank you for your support. I really do appreciate it. Okay, the last item I want to discuss is this. It's a book called Ready Player One. Yes, an actual analog book. I mean, this is just fascinating. It doesn't have a touchscreen interface. I can't zoom in with my fingers. But seriously, this was said by Adam Bassendine. That's a pretty cool last name. And Adam says, thanks for all the great free content, David. He puts free in caps. I really appreciate that. Here's an incredible book full of nerdiness, without doubt, the best book without pop-up pictures I've ever read. Enjoy from Adam. Game Bants is his name. That might be his Twitter name or YouTube name. I'll do research. And while well, either way, I will list Adam's link right below. So Adam, thank you very much for this. I mean, I gotta be honest, I don't really read many physical books, but I actually do have a lot of books, I mean, you know, pertaining to technology and Apple and graphic design and web design and all that stuff. 
And I usually just kind of have books to collect them. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I like collecting things. But with that said, I will do my best to motivate myself to read this because it does say on the back, and this is very interesting, it says, delightful, the grown-ups Harry Potter. And that's a quote from the Huffington Post. So the fact that this is kind of like a grown-ups version of Harry Potter, I am very intrigued. And like I said, I'm gonna do my best to read this. I can't make any promises, but I'm gonna do my best. I just really emphasize that because I'm mostly a digital person, but I do appreciate holding a book in my physical hands as opposed to my digital hands. I don't think we're at that point yet. Uh, but seriously, Adam, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. And I definitely was not expecting this whatsoever. So yes, your generosity is much, much appreciated. And that goes for everybody who made this video possible. So quick recap, Uovo, rechargeable lights, cat toy, which is right back here. I'm not gonna pick it up and destroy my desk again. Skull candy, crusher headphones, whoa, with insane bass performance. Theed rhythm, Th theater rhythm, there I go again. Final Fantasy curtain call for the 3DS, which I will open by this weekend. Papers flying all over the place. The UV lights, which again is awesome, but is not a toy. You should definitely use this with caution. And finally, last but not least, again, I was not expecting this, Ready Player One book from Adam. So guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for making all this possible. And for those who don't understand David's tech haul, let me just say this. It's not about getting free stuff for my viewers. I mean, while I greatly appreciate all these gifts, it's the fact that people are willing to do it to begin with. It's the fact that people are willing to go beyond the views, the likes, and the comments, and physically show their support by sending me a gift now and then. I mean, it's kind of like Christmas, and for that, I'm incredibly grateful. So thank you guys so much for your support. It really does mean the world to me. Stay tuned for a ton of awesome content, and please do not forget to check out Brand Rockets over at brainrocket.com. Thank you guys so much. Your support is awesome, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.